Okay, it is 7 o'clock. I'd like to call the order of the Morton Road Public Library Board of Trustees regular meeting August 9, 2012 at 7 p.m. Can we stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic Approval of minutes of the special board meetings June 11, 2012. Move to approve the, meeting, the minutes of the meeting, special meeting on June 11, 2012. As amended to include. As amended. As amended to include. The name of Trustee Goldstein. To include the name of Trustee Goldstein. As being present. Present, yeah. And can I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you. Comments, questions? None? Mm -hmm. Call the roll. Trustee Albert? Yes. Trustee Kalman? Yes. Trustee Goldstein? Yes. Trustee Novick? Yes. Trustee Peters? Yes. All right, the approval of minutes special board meeting June 27, 2012. Can I have a motion to approve? I move to approve the minutes of June 20, the special meeting of June 27, 2012, amended to include the name of uh, include the name of Trustee Goldstein as being present. Second. And a second. Questions, comments, or concerns? If not, we call the vote. Trustee Albert? Yes. Trustee Kalmiak? Yes. Trustee Goldstein? Yes. Trustee Novick? Absolutely. Trustee Peters? Yes. All right. Public comments on agenda items only? Any this evening? If none, uh, there is no president's report tonight, so we go right to the treasurer's report. Okay. Treasurer's report. Um, as everyone had a chance to review the check register, um, I'd be happy to go over any questions that you may have. I'd like to point out a couple of things in the income statement. Um, we're in very good shape as we have already received 77% of our uh, expected property tax receipts from the state. So our, our cash flow is very, very good. I also have some other very good news. And even taking into account the um, how much more prompt the payments are this year than they were last year, um, we are in very good um, we're in very good shape here. Looking at the cash statement from July 2011, our total was a year ago um, one million eight hundred nineteen thousand seven hundred ninety-two dollars ninety-one cents. 
and this month our total is $3,213,841.15. Our investments are returning much, much more than they were last year, and on a percentage basis, uh, sometimes 35 times as much, and all in all, um, I'm very happy to report that the financial uh, health of the library is excellent at the moment. Questions or concerns on the report? If not, can I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report? Motion to accept the treasurer's report. A second, any second? Thank you. I have a vote. <clears throat> Trustee Albers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Trustee Palamak? Yes. Trustee Goldstein? Yes. Trustee Govick? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, committee reports. Anything from the Finance Committee this morning? No. None. Anything from Building and Grounds? No. And there was no policy meeting. Um, our staff reports, if our director would like to lead off. Um, staff reports, I think, are pretty <laughs> self explanatory. Nothing uh, exceptionally different that I want to point out. If I can find my papers. Would be good. Um, as you can see, I've spent a lot of time this month meeting with various staff members, just kind of getting up to speed. Seems like that's all I've been doing is meetings, 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 but it's been great. The staff has been really helpful, and uh, I would like to commend them and thank them officially for all of their assistance that they've given me the past month. So I finally feel like I'm kind of getting, getting a handle on things and we're getting excited about moving forward with some things. Um, as I did point out, the head of circulation services did leave officially in the middle of the month and I have hired another person. And um, I am pleased to report that uh, Sarah Cherkasky has accepted the position of head of, adult, head of circulation services and she'll be starting on August 20th. So um, I think she'll be a great addition to the, to the staff and we're looking forward to, uh, to working with her. And then some of the other things that I pointed out, we switched dental providers, that's all taken care of. Uh, building and grounds, there was no official report, but as most of you may have noticed, we do have the speed bump installed now in front of the library, thanks to Claude and his very able staff. And it was quite the project, and of course it was on the hottest day of the month <laughs> that they did it. So, um, so special thanks to Claude and his staff for doing that, and hopefully that will have its intended purpose to get people to stop where they're supposed to. Um, one thing associated with that, uh, we did also get the reflective stop sign, but another thing that Trustee Peters had requested was some additional signage and um, something in the news center. We are going to be putting a blurb in the news center to be more aware, um, you know, the school starting that kind of thing. And the striping, it was also done. The striping was also done, so everything's looking very nice in the parking and driveway area. Um, the other big thing is uh, that I spent some time working on this month was the special reserve funds, and I believe we'll address that further later on. So, um, lots of reports about the summer library challenge. I think that um, it was great this year. Did lots of uh, lots of activities, lots of prizes, um, lots of you know lots of people in and out of the library. But I think the reports do a nice job of explaining. What Questions or comments? No. Good report, thank you. Yeah, just thank you. Anything from the worker council? <clears throat> uh, just that you have uh, before you a uh, resolution of uh, 2012-3. It's to amend the uh, purposes of the uh, accumulations in your special reserve fund uh, that you uh, library adopted uh, resolutions in August of 08 in March of 2011, um, uh, about first adopting a special use fund and then uh, designated purposes for which it could be used. And then this resolution amends the uh, purposes uh, for which the uh, funds in the special use fund, uh, which the money in the special use fund uh, can be used. So this provides clarification. Right. Okay. Okay. What kind of um, restrictions will remain on it? Which will be well, under the um, 
under the state statute, um, you know, it's to be used for specific specific things, um, uh, such as uh, you know, purchase of land and buildings, construction and equipment of buildings, rental. And yeah, that was the original and resolution. Um, well, I mean, you can uh, you can use this special reserve fund for uh, equipping buildings and uh, use it for repair of existing uh, of existing buildings. Right. So it, it frees us basically. This frees us to use the special reserve fund money for the building improvements intended for this building. Exactly. I, I have a question on that. Uh, according to Section Four Hundred. Point five one zero public facilities alterations, state law. It says all public facilities other than state owned alteration costs fifteen percent to fifty percent and more than a hundred thousand. If the alteration costs more than fifteen percent but less than fifty percent of the reproduction cost of the public facility and more than a hundred thousand, the following shall comply with the applicable requirements for new construction. In other words, as far as I can see, we can't do everything that we have to do. Well, we're, we're not, not going to get close to that, are It's not your report. Sorry. Thank you. Um, if we're not, that's not the, the issue that's before us tonight. The issue that's before us tonight is the special reserve fund and, and its use. And that's what this resolution is for. Um, what, what you're talking about talks about talks about uh, actually spending the money. This resolution just uh, allocates money, uh, allocates the purposes for the reserve fund itself. But to be spent. I well, I, there's a contradiction I, here. Perhaps, uh, perhaps, I'm, perhaps I'm not following you, uh, but, uh, but that, what you're talking about is, is when you're actually under embarking on project, if you will, and, and spending funds, you know, then... What are you have, talking about? I'm talking about the purposes for which this fund can be used. It's not the same thing? No. It seems to be. This is a definition of the purpose of the fund. Exactly. This is defining the purpose of the fund, right. not what the fund... We're not going to spend any money. <laughs> you may not be... But you, you can't put aside money to spend for something that you can't spend. In other words, if the law says we can't do it, how can you put aside money to well, do it? How can you say that the law says you can't do it? Because it states specifically a dollar figure here. Right. And, and how can you say that? And I don't know what you, what, I'm sure that it is. And as far as I know, there's not been nothing, there's been nothing earmarked, if you will, for a specific purpose. I thought there was in Correct something on the third, the second floor to have access where there's stairs now for the disabled. These are disabled situations that if we have to spend too much money, we can't do. Right, but that's that's not really what we're talking about right now. What but that's all, that's, now. that's that's part of it. No, it's not. Well, if you could refer back to last month's topics of discussion that was in the discussion. May I address Trustee Hall to you? Um, that is one of the things that we are talking about, but we have no plans whatsoever. I still haven't even gotten together with the village or anything to find out what we can or cannot do. So while that is definitely a need that we have, we haven't made any decisions even about moving forward whether or not that's possible. So, just so, so we all understand that there are restrictions I mean, I'll recognize on what we can yeah. do. Yeah, recognizing that it's a need, we haven't even addressed whether or not it's possible to address that need while following the, the law. So, okay, that's so kind of where we're at. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, I think that that's all I have for my report. All right, thank you. Uh, there was no carryover or unfinished business from the last meeting, so the new business of tonight would be the approval of the Special Reserve Fund Resolution 2012-3. I move that the Martin Grove Public Library Board of Trustees adopt resolution number 2012-3, resolution to amend purposes of accumulations in the Special Reserve Fund. And do I have a second? Second motion. Any questions, concerns? I'm still really unclear. Um, I, this is
this is just to find what the fund would be used for, and that's yeah. all it does. That's all that this particular You're resolution You're not identifying does. what the purpose is being used for. We don't have to do that yet, Trustee Goldstein. Okay. You can just put it aside. Right. That's what that's what the, the law allows for that to for the repair for like emergency repairs for alterations that may be necessary no. to the building, that sort of thing. So we're not so if you, we can put emergency aside. Emergency repairs I can understand for what else. Okay. It's just a definition of special reserve fund. The use is going to be talked about later. It's found in section one of the ordinance. That paragraph is what is what you amended and what you will be amending your purpose for. So that's section one of the, of the resolution. Repair is going to take place at that point, determining if the reserve fund is usable on that, or or possibly money would have to be found elsewhere. Well, the director would guide us. We have the idea. She provides the guidance, and we approve the expenditure. So, at this point in time, we're just defining what the money is going to be spent That's what I'm saying. That's basically right. what I'm saying. And then at a point on the, the other future, side. You're right. And then at a point in the future where there's a determination that we need to do something, then we decide and vote on That's where that That's exactly money. what I was trying you're to say. You're right on. As yeah. long as we follow the law. Right. right. Absolutely. That's what I was trying to get clarified. Thank you. Thank you. So if we're good there, can we call the vote? Trustee Albers. Yes. Trustee Kalamat. Yes. Trustee Goldstein. Yes. Trustee Noga. Yes. Trustee Peters. Four. Yes. Okay. All right, it passes. Thank you. Um, new business. We'd like to talk about going out for bid on carpet. Um, it is my recommendation that we do move forward on the carpet replacement. As we are all aware, there are some areas, many areas library that are desperately need of recarpeting <laughs> and um, Claude and I have, have spoken about this we've met with one person um, based on the cost estimations that uh, we have so far um, this is over the legal limit for just picking and choosing a contractor so I am uh, requesting the board's permission to put together a request for a proposal to go out to bid for carpet replacement um, if the board so chooses I can bring the proposal for their Approval on uh, our next board meeting, and then we would move forward from there. But over the next month, I will work on the proposal, setting dates, and those kinds of things. Okay. Well, I'm all right for that. Then uh, I move that the board of trustees sure. allow the director to write a request for a proposal for carpet installation. You second on that. I will. Discussion. Any discussions or comments? I think it's so. a great idea. So uh, let's call a vote on that one. Trustee Alvin? Please do, yes. Trustee Kalamak? Yes. Trustee Goldstein? Yes. Trustee Novick? Yes. Trustee Peters? Absolutely. All right, I'm not, uh, there were no communications sent in this month. Are there any public comments on non-agenda items? None? Any reason to go into executive session? None? I move that we adjourn. We have a second. Second. No objections. We are adjourned. It's a